Hello dear friends, do you have any idea that we the youths can change the society with our word? So, have you voted yet? If not, we the Senjun students would like to show you the potential consequences of not voting. Voting. Voting is just not a right, it's a responsibility. If we don't exercise our right, we risk losing our voice in the most important decision of our time. As young voters, it is more important for us to vote because with the changing of times, the policies and the laws also need to be changed to suit our needs. Thus, we the young voters do not vote, we lose our fresh ideas and perspective that could not lead to a better society for everyone. Remember that your vote is your voice. It's your power to shape the future and make the difference. Do not let others decide for you. Use your vote to create what you want to, to see a better world. So come, let's hear more about it. Oh, oh I missed the shot, but don't miss the opportunity to vote. Not voting is not a neutral act, it's a choice to disempower ourselves. By not voting, we hand our controls to those who not share our values, silence our voice on issues that matter the most in our life, puts our community into a risk of uh, unfunded or unserved. But here is the thing, we have the power to change this. Let's register, let's educate ourselves and cast our ballots. Let's reclaim a power to shape our future again. Tell me, what are the consequences of not voting? Not voting. Not voting. Uh, excuse me, Chugwa. Can you please help me with this? Thank you. One of, uh, one of my favorite philosophers, George Jean Nathan, an American critic and writer, once said, bad officials are elected by good citizens because they choose not to vote. You and I are the youth of today's generation. Should we vote to elect candidates on our behalf or should we rather just sit down and wait until democracy turns to dictatorship? You may be ignorant of this, but elections have a direct impact on our lives. The most significant potential consequences of you not voting it leads to the loss of representation and power that you and I as citizens hold over the government. As a direct result, elected officials fail to address critical thinking, perpetuating inequality, since they feel less pressured to be accountable of the misgivings faced by people, neglecting the issues and focusing more on their greed. Why? Because voting is how you get a say in this country, but when you choose not to vote, it leads others for you to choose. Ultimately, when you decide not to vote, we encourage corruption and our voices and interests are excluded exclusively from decision making. So, my dear friends, the opportunity given to us to vote for the right candidate to enable real effective change should not be taken for granted because like you, like you matter, your vote matters. Thank you. Of 
We are the pillars of tomorrow. By choosing not to vote, we're handing over our future to others without a say. Voting is a chance to drive change. We are the ones who will bring in fresh perspectives. It is on us to challenge the existing power structures and policies. If we do not participate in voting, then who will? If not us, then who? My dear pillars of tomorrow, let this be a wake-up call for all of us. Yuva Matengare Bavishe Savare. Let us vote and shape our future. Thank you. Wow, I'm so inspired by your opinion. Let's hang out some other time and talk more about the issues, underlying issues of politics. Let me help you. What are the ill effects of voting? Well, I must say that not voting is not just a choice, but in fact, it is a sign of surrendering our future, our choices, in the hands of leaders blindly. So to say, all we do is just complain about the system and the government, and we do nothing when it is our time to vote. We abstain from voting. We are all a part of this political world and therefore we are being privileged to be such blessed voters and therefore we should take part in voting. So why not utilize it to the fullest instead of just complaining about the upsetting performance of the state? Voting is not just a right, but it is a collective responsibility not only to ourselves but also to our community and our future. So my dear brothers and sisters, why not live up to it to fulfill our duties as a responsible citizen? So what I would like to encourage to all of you is that the choice is ours. Let us choose to vote. Let us choose to shape our future. Let us be responsible citizens. Thank you. Wow, I love your thought. Your vote, your